Porsche factory driver. Only one American can claim that title, Patrick Long, the reigning ALMS GT2 champ, who honed his skills in Europe before getting that coveted factory ride in 2003. At Miller, Long showed us why he's such a talent, ringing out both cars and clearly explaining what they're like to drive. Listen and learn. The most rewarding part about the GT3 road car is as soon as I hit the racetrack, I'm not really changing my brake zones. Uh, I'm really taking the same gears through the corners. Um, it's really, really a seamless transition from my race car, and that still boggles my mind to this date. Um, usually when I go from road car to race car on any given racetrack, I'm used to having to adjust quite a bit. But when I do have that odd chance to get into the GT3, uh, it's very easy to just jump in and go flat out. Knowing that you're on a DOT tire, and with that you have limitations in your braking, uh, in your direction change, and in your traction. So as long as you take care of your tires, uh, you're able to utilize uh, the stiff suspension uh, and, and still go very quick. Um, there's also little nuances uh, with curb usage and things like that where you might be able to get away with a little bit more in the road car uh, than the race car because of ride heights, etc. Um, so really it's a give and take. It's not all negative, it's not all obstacles. It's just changing up your game a little bit. Uh, definitely the 911 RSR race car has its strengths at the Miller Motorsport Park because there's such long radius corners. With that, you need to be able to get to power very early and hope that the car is going to continue to create grip without overloading the tire. And that's something we've worked hard on, is really balancing the weight in the platform. Uh, being a rear engine car, it's not always easy, uh, but we've been able to trail the brake in a little bit deeper than some of our competition, and that's helped us overtake during the race as well. My race car and the road car are similar in the fact of how I attack the corner uh, with the brake and the throttle. Uh, a lot of it's about utilizing the differential of the 911, helping that to turn the car. Where a lot of other cars in competition it might be an enemy to go to the throttle that would create understeer on the exit. With the 911, the way we set the car up, it helps turn the car. Um, also, we can trail brake quite a bit. Uh, with that rear engine in the back, we can really load the nose and not overpower the tire where some of the front engine cars might have an issue. Uh, last thing would be direction change. Uh, really, the, the two cars, the race car and the road car, both transition very alike. And I think that says probably more about the GT3 road car of just how much of a race car it is with a license plate. Uh, the things that I were, was able to do in the chicanes uh, was even surprising me. I hadn't been around in a GT3 here uh, at the Miller Motorsport track and really I didn't find that I had to transition much. Uh, I was really using the same reference points and the same lines and I think that says a lot about uh, what we're putting out in the GT3.